Hey guys, what's up? This is Art again, um, bringing you another video blog on my uh, uh, progression through my brain tumor. And uh, I have with me a special guest today, uh, actor, author, and fellow cancer survivor, Mr. Dirk Benedict. Hello, greetings, greetings. From so somewhere in Southern California, a secret location we're not allowed to reveal. So, uh, Mr. Benedict, can you tell our viewers out there uh, the most important aspects of getting through the cancer process, what you believe in? Well, the most important thing is to be proactive and to be involved in your own treatment, whatever it is. Of course, my journey was uh, uh, through macrobiotics. There goes my ride. The most important aspect of one's well-being, spiritual, mental, physical is uh, what we feed ourselves. Physical food also, you know, there's also the food of, you know, the people you associate with, associate with the books you read. So when you're going through something, uh, an illness that's as uh, challenging to the, to the entire body as cancer, it's important to surround yourself with positive people, to read positive books, to avoid negativity, and to be involved in your own treatment. I wrote my book to share my journey, to show how it can be done. It's, it's a hard thing to do because you have to kick modern civilization. Much of what we eat is a result of, you know, the Industrial Revolution. We have refrigeration, so we eat out of season. If you're really sick, it's important to get really simple and not give your body, not give your body the kind of nutrients that a cancer cell needs in order to grow. A cancer is, is uh, aberrant cell growth, so it's like denying oxygen to a fire. It will go out. So you deny oxygen not literally, but metaphorically, to a cancer cell, and, and, and they can't, they can't exist. Surgery is still a main, main treatment, surgery, radiation, and chemo. I, I didn't do any of those things, but uh, I always tell people to follow their own journey, you know, maybe, maybe some surgery, maybe even some chemo, but there are things to eat. You know, I have every morning, I have miso soup, which is a wonderful source of very balanced protein. And Macrobiotic philosophy is just understanding of human, of, of, of nature natural forces, yin and yang, you know, Japanese, but it's really hot and cold, male and female, you know, and uh, it's, not, it's not complicated to do, it's, it's enormously complicated on how, how, how to manifest itself, how it works, how it affects the body, but uh, it's as simple as saying no to a bowl of ice cream, and how hard that is for an individual, I don't know, or chocolate or whatever your Jones is, hamburgers, cheese, dairy food, all that stuff. I didn't even eat fruit. I didn't eat fruit for four or five years. I still don't eat it that much. Uh, well, you lose your craving for extremes, too. And uh, so, but it works. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of letters from people who've read my book who, who survived, changed their direction on various illnesses. You know, um, not only is Mr. Benedict a guru on macrobiotics, but uh, he's definitely a source of great inspiration for myself and everyone out there, and you definitely should pick up a copy of his book, Confessions of a Kamikaze Cowboy, which uh, chronicles his journey, his personal journey, uh, through beating prostate cancer. And uh, the time I've spent with him, he's served as a great inspiration to me. Uh, in fact, I no longer think of myself as having cancer because I'm quite confident that I'm going to beat it. You know, I, I went the surgery route, tumor was removed, um, and uh, I apologize to all you out there that I haven't been updating these webcasts. I know a lot of you have been sending me uh, emails uh, of encouragement and you've been praying for me and I'll get to that at a later time, but right now I'm just enjoying Mr. Benedict's company. Uh, he was kind enough to meet me at the San Diego Comic Con after a six month theater leg in um, England. And he drove about two straight days from Montana to San Diego. I mean, this man is, is insane. I mean, he's got so much endurance. Uh, and every time there was an opportunity to take an escalator or stairs at Comic Con, he always wanted to run the stairs. And I found myself following him and out of breath a few times. You know, running the stairs, I made a promise back when I had cancer, I'd always have never taken an escalator or an elevator if I could take the stairs. In airports, you know, run up the stairs. My two sons do it with me now, we would compete. 
But there's many things you can do to get exercise. If you, you know, just taking walk why it's important. It's important walks, you know, as opposed to going out and punishing yourself with long distance running if you're ill. Just go for a walk. Thanks, Art, for taking me down to San Diego and, and letting me have that experience. I joined it. It did challenge my endurance a bit. Uh, uh, but it's good, you know. That's the one thing that changes. Uh, meat eating will make you very strong, but uh, basing your diet on grain, whole grains, cr creates endurance. Tremendous, and tremendous endurance. When I had cancer, this is the major thing. I put it in my book. I chewed every mouthful of food at least 50 times. And I, in the beginning, I had to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 50, 50 to 100. Basically, you chew it till it turns to liquid. Now, if you chew a piece of chicken or beef, you'll find out you can't do that. But if you chew whole grain brown rice, you'll find you can do that. And the body brain, brain all starts in the mouth. If you don't chew food properly, then when it gets to the body, it doesn't get all the nutrients out. It's the secret, it's the secret, it's the secret, and it's extremely simple. So anyway, Art, God bless you. You're going to be well. Keep the faith, keep studying, keep reading, and all will be well. I believe, Dirk. Thank you very much again for everything. I had a great week with you, and I really appreciate this rare opportunity to interview you. And uh, I definitely feel charged and motivated, and no worries here. And uh, I know your time is precious, so thank you very much. Thank you.